if these walls could talk, then I could have all those pieces of history that I don't have. Eileen Baker still searches for answers from the past, from stories that weren't written down, just whispered through generations. Some of the stories say that he came here and he actually helped Levi Coffin in the Underground Railroad. He is her great-great-grandfather, William Bush, a blacksmith who yeah, made and wore like, these shoes she holds yeah. with care. He was said to have helped runaway slaves to safety. It was a mission that led him here to the Coffin House. Levi and Catherine Coffin were North Carolina Quakers who were against slavery. They moved to Indiana in 1826. Oh. If the walls could talk and seem to have built this home to help freedom seekers. We are in uh, what we call the garret room, and the little door here leads to an area that is about four feet deep, but it does go the entire length of the room. And Levi talks about hiding them in the garret. Extra exits and indoor spring. I, I can't imagine the risk of both the black and the white communities coming together to do something that courageous. I, I, I just can't imagine. I can't, I, I'm not sure that I could, I'm not sure I could have done what they did. If that hadn't happened at that time, where, where, would, where would this country be? Where would we be? Eileen volunteers at the Coffin House, grounded in her family connection. Janice McGuire also connected to the history in these walls. Her ancestors were Quakers. So to have uh, um, a a building like this that has um, been kept in such original condition and everything, uh, to be able to tell the story is, is uh, pretty special. An almost yeah. overwhelming uh, connection for Eileen, a place of peace and pride in a past she didn't experience, but one she knows in her soul. My people helped our people get to freedom. It, it feels very, very good. As I tell people all the time, this is not just our town's history, or our state's history, but it, it's our national history. Precious. Freedom is so precious. And, and I don't think we today understand what, what that freedom from bondage, what opportunity it gave us. Eileen Baker made history herself by becoming the first black female administrator at Richmond High School in 1978, a job she said was extremely difficult for many reasons. During her time in education, she worked for a few schools as a teacher and even principal. As for the Levi Coffin House, the National Historic Landmark is listed as one of the top 25 historic places to visit in the United States. Lori Wilson, 24-Hour News 8.